Hey guys, it's TechRacer and today in this video we are going to see how you can use your old Wi-Fi router as a repeater for your existing network. So I was having this router laying around and it's a DSL router as you can see and I no longer need a DSL connection right now so uh, and this router was laying around. So I thought why not use this as a repeater to extend my existing network so that would be a good idea. So this method works with all of the routers that are available out there irrespective of the brand. So you do not need to worry about that. You need to simply follow this uh, simple procedure and you are good to go. So first of all, basically you have to reset your router. So you can uh, reset the router by simply going to the web config or you can simply push in a button which is present at the back side of the router. In my case, I have it on the bottom side as you can see. So it's a small reset switch. So you can simply use a small safety pin in order to reset the router. So I have already uh, reset the router to its factory setting and it has booted up. It will take almost about one minute to boot back to its uh, normal state. So once the router is booted, you simply need an ethernet cable in order to connect it to a laptop or a desktop in order to configure it. And you should also have an incoming internet connection. So this is the connection which is coming from my main router. So that's it. Now we have to simply connect it to the laptop and connect the incoming connection to the router and we are good to go. So first of all, basically we have to connect the LAN cable and connect to our laptop in order to change the IP address of this router because uh, I have already a main router which is running in some another room. So if we are having the same IP addresses for both the routers, so it will simply collide and it won't work. So you have to first change the IP address of this router because both of the routers are having the same IP address uh, for configuration. So I'm going to simply connect it to any one of the available ports on the router and simply connect it to the laptop for configuration. So as you can see it detected. So let's get back to the laptop. Okay, so guys, welcome to my laptop screen. So as you can see, we are connected uh, to the D-Link through a LAN cable. So it's showing no internet. So first of all, simply log in to the router. So 192.168.1.1. So this is the default gateway IP. You can locate it from the bottom of your router. So simply head on to this IP address. Okay, so now we are on to the configuration. So simply type in admin admin and log into the router. So once you're uh, logged in, so guys, if you're using DSL router, simply go to internet setup and delete all the default entries uh, present over here. So simply delete one by one. Okay, so I have deleted all the three entries over here. So now simply go to wireless and change the wireless name. So you can change your wireless network from here. So now simply go to wireless security and if you want to assign any password over here so you can do that as well so simply go to wireless security uh, i will make none in this case and click on apply so the security has been changed as you can see i can connect to this network so i will connect it later on so after that simply go to local network and over here you will see the router settings so we have basically the router's ip address so it is 192.168.1.1 so this is the default gateway ip now simply connect to your uh, main router so this is the main router's wi-fi so i'm gonna connect to it after that once you're connected simply go to command prompt and type here ip config so over here, as you can see for wireless LAN adapter, it's showing default gateway as 192.168.1.1. So it's exactly the same as our ethernet adapter as well. So we have to change it. So we have to basically assign a new IP address for our uh, the D-Link one uh, with the same family as 192.168.1. And we can change the number from here as well. So basically you have to change the router's IP address. So make it 1.2 or 1.3 as per your choice. If it is having any secondary IP address, so simply uncheck it. And in DHCP server, you have to simply make it 1.3 because it will create a conflict as we have assigned 1.2 over here. So now simply click on apply and wait for few seconds until it refreshes the page and changes its IP to 1.2. Okay, so once the page shows uh, unable to reach, simply now head on to the new IP that is 192.168.1.2. As you can see, now we are on to the new IP address. So simply again log into the uh, configuration. So we are again back. And if, if we now go to local network, you can see here the IP address 1.2. So we are going completely fine. And so as you can see, it's 1.2. So it's completely fine.
so here we have to basically disable the dhcp server so it will prevent our uh, repeater router from uh, from assigning new ip addresses to the clients connected to it so the dhcp server will be activated on your main router so we have to disable it over here so and uncheck all the uh, options available over here so we will simply disable the ports for dhcp so after that simply click on apply okay so the dhcp server has been disabled so we have to simply go back to our router in order to plug in our internet cable so guys we are back and we have done setting or changing up the ip address of this router so we have to simply connect the incoming internet connection to any one of the lan ports which are available at the back side you can connect it to any of the ports that are available as you can see it is again detected on the port 4 so let's get back to our laptop and see if it is working or not so guys now we are back onto our laptop after connecting the internet cable so as you can see it's still showing no internet so simply click on it or open the adapter settings and over here simply disable this device and re-enable it or you can simply uh, unplug the cable and replug it so it's identifying and okay it's connected uh, as you can see over here it is showing connected and it's FTTH so this is the uh, name of my main router so as you can see it's connected so let's try to ping a website so i'll go to fast.com okay so as you can see it's working super fine so now let's try to connect it through the wi-fi so i'll disconnect my uh, ethernet cable and let's try to connect it uh, to the wi-fi network okay so as you can see it's connected so as you can see it's connected so now let's try to again reload the website okay so as you can see it's working over the wi-fi obviously the speeds are not that good because it's a 2.4 gigahertz uh, router so as you can see it's pulling over the wi-fi so yeah we are successfully using it as a access point so we can simply extend our network so yeah guys uh, this is pretty much it for this video guys if you found this video really helpful then do that like button and subscribe button and stay tuned for more such videos so thank you guys thanks for watching